welcome to Thread Therapy. This is my vlog where I talk about all the things I love about sewing. If that's what you're into, please like and subscribe and we'll jump right in. Hello. Yes, it's me. Don't fall off your chair. I've managed to make another video. And today I wanna to show you all the things that I have been buying and loving and stroking and coveting and it's fabric. We all love a bit of fabric, don't we? My first piece of fabric came from Fabricland and I think I bought this before Christmas last year and it is a really unusual sort of olive green leopard print. I love a leopard print. I'm not gonna apologize for that. I have many, many leopard print items in my wardrobe and I'm just drawn to the pattern. I don't know what it is, but I just absolutely love it. So this one is a really soft jersey and it feels almost like i think they call it a sweater knit jersey feels like a jumper if you know what i mean it's reasonably lightweight um there it is with just one layer and it's got lovely drape to it and i have absolutely no idea what i'm going to make with this fabric in fact i've been thinking about this fabric for so long now i almost feel a little bit paralyzed so i want your suggestions what would you make with it i was going to make myself a lounge set so some sort of uh, jumper maybe a linden sweatshirt or a toaster sweater or something and then a pair of tracksuit bottoms or pajama bottoms so i could go full on leopard then I thought, actually, do I love this fabric too much just to wear it indoors? Because I'd never obviously go out wearing, you know, an entire leopard print tracksuit. Don't get me wrong, if that's your thing, that, you know, you crack on, love, do it. But that's not something I would probably wear out. So I was thinking, do I make a dress with it? Do I make maybe a wrap dress with it? Hmm. I need your suggestions. Have you got any favourite jersey dress sewing patterns? So uh, we know that I love the Lotta dress. That's a Lotta there. I clearly don't need another leopard print Lotta in my life. Although, you know, maybe I do. Maybe that's the problem. But I just want to try something new. So what would you make? Let me know in the comment box below. I bought two metres of this fabric and it was extremely inexpensive i can't remember how much i paid but it was probably not more than about five maybe probably not even that but maybe five pound a meter so yeah but it's nice quality so i went for it and like i said i've got a reasonable amount a couple of meters so let me know what you think i should make right next fabric i'm looking down here because they're all on the floor so one of my new year's resolutions is to use my stash fabric up. I have not a massive amount of stash fabric, but I have a reasonable amount, just like most people who sew. And I like to be able to just make things on the spur of the moment. So sometimes I pick up things that haven't really got any plans for them, hence the leopard print below. And I picked up some denim ages ago, years ago. And it's just a really nice, rigid black well it's not a true black it's like a sort of dark gray denim it's really nice weight and i saw this in my stash and thought it was about time i made something with that so as part of my christmas presents i got some some money to you know spend on things i wanted and so i have been admiring the lander pants for a little while I watch quite a lot of other vloggers on YouTube who also sew and the French seams, I'll put a link to her video down below. She made the most gorgeous pair of corduroy lander pants and um, I was just like, oh, I've got to have that pattern. So I'm going to just grab the pattern so I can show you um, what I'm talking about. So these are the lander pants and they are a true bias pattern and they have been everywhere on uh, Instagram. Loads of people have made this. If you look up the hashtag Lander Pants, you'll see tons and tons of other people's makes for inspiration. And that's kind of, if you don't go on Instagram, that's what's really, really amazing about that sort of platform. Um, you can just 
pick something and then just see tons and tons of different people's interpretations of a pattern. I just really like that. So um, I have decided to make these out of my stash denim. It does actually recommend medium to heavy bottom weight fabrics with little to no stretch, such as twill, linen, corduroy and denim. So I had the perfect fabric in my stash to just whip these up. And um, I decided actually I wouldn't go for a toile, which might be a mistake because trousers, as we all know, are kind of difficult to fit. But I'm kind of, I'm sort of hoping I won't have too many issues and I might be able to tweak them if they don't fit exactly the way I want them to. Um, so I'm making a size eight and I've already started these. Um, I can show you a little bit of progress if you like, a little sneaky peek. So uh, let's show you. So this is the back pocket piece and I have, as you can see, top stitch my pocket on. Super pleased with this top stitching. I bought a Gussman um, thread, top stitch thread, and I think it's called Antique Gold. Looks very much like ready to wear jeans. Uh, I popped a little bit of bias, that's actually bias binding folded in half into that seam and then put with my Cricut machine, sew it on there. Um, so that is the back, one of the back pockets. I've uh, also put on, let me see if I can find it. I had a bit of a saga with my sewing machine. It did not like top stitching. It threw a complete hissy fit. I ended up wasting tons and tons of fabric, uh, not fabric, thread. And I've had to order another reel of thread because I've run out. So I haven't got on as far as I was hoping, but here's a front pocket, one of the front pocket pieces. Um, massive great big pockets love it I've made previously the Jessa trousers by Tilling the Buttons and I do love those trousers I wear them a lot but they don't have any front pockets and the back pockets are a bit high um, when I altered the Jessa trousers I took a quarter of an inch out of the rise and forgot to lower the pockets by the same amount so they're quite high up and I find it really difficult to put anything in them um, although they, they look nice when they're on. Um, if I've got any footage of me wearing those, I'll, I'll insert it. But yeah, they don't have front pockets, the Jessa trousers, although they're a reasonably similar shape. They're not, the lander pants aren't bell bottoms, they're sort of straight leg jeans. So yeah, that's my progress so far. I have got a little bit more top stitching to do, which hopefully won't make me tear my hair out. Um, I've got, you can see behind me, a, a fairly naff machine, to be fair. It's a Frister Rossman that I bought years ago. And I did that classic thing of thinking, actually, I will spend the least amount of money to get the most amount of features. And what ha ends up happening is you end up with a crappy machine that can't do anything. That's not to say that it's not, I mean, it's not crappy, crappy. I mean, you, I can clearly, I can make stuff on it. It's fine for sewing, but anything out of the ordinary, like top stitching denim, and she just throws all her toys out the pram. So I used a top stitching needle, I used top stitching thread, I've got a hump jumper, um, don't know if it's here somewhere so I can show you, don't know where it is right now, but a little, basically a little piece of plastic that you slide underneath the foot so that if you're going over a step in the fabric like you do often with jeans because they're quite bulky seams it allows your sewing machine to sort of effortlessly stitch over the the jump um i just tried everything so please give me your best top tips for top stitching because i need them clearly it i was literally like I'm gonna throw you out the window. It kept on bubbling up underneath, there was thread everywhere, then it wouldn't stitch. I turned the tension right down to zero and then just tweaked it up a tiny bit. I, I changed my stitch length to three and a half. Nah, she was just like, I'm not doing this, love. You can try and make me, but I'm not doing it. So she nearly went out the window. Let's hope she's listening right now and behaves herself when I finally get my top stitch thread arrive and I can crack on with these jeans. But yeah, I'm super excited. 
And I, what I might do actually is make a little leather patch to go on the back, like a pair of ready to wear jeans. And I was thinking that I might, my husband and I, we were having a kitchen disco last night and he put on, can't touch this MC Hammer. And I was like, yes, that's what I'm gonna put on my leather patch. Can't touch this. What do you reckon? Is that a bit naff or is that gonna be fun? And let's hope they just fit. I'm so excited about this make, I can't tell you. I haven't been this excited about sewing something in ages. I can't wait to get it finished. So that is my second piece of fabric, which strictly speaking, it isn't a whole piece because it was in my stash. But like I said, I'm using up a piece of my stash every month so that I can buy more fabric, basically. So let's move on. Next piece of fabric is something down here. I treated myself to uh, after Christmas with some Christmas money and I saw Kath from Made by Kath Craft. I think that's her channel name. If I got it wrong, I'll put it down below. It's funny how you start these things and start talking and then suddenly you've forgotten everything. Um, she had a piece of this fabric and made a really gorgeous dressing gown out of it so and I love a tiger as you can tell tiger um, so I bought myself some of this fabric godmother tiger fabric just love the colors in this teal blue orange the tiger just everything about this fabric is my cup of tea and I saw it and thought, I am going to buy myself some of that fabric. I think I got a metre and a half. Clearly, I haven't learnt my lesson because I seriously don't know what to make with this. I could make, like, a little woven summer dress. It's a crepe, I think. And I have to be honest, it's not the softest, nicest feeling crepe I've ever felt. Might just be that it needs an iron. Perhaps it'll soften up with wear. But um, yeah, it's got quite a texture to it. And it's, although it's got a reasonable amount of drape, it's actually not too soft. So I don't know. I did originally think maybe I'd make an Ogden cami. Um, but I don't know if that would just be, I want to make the most of the one and a half meters. And I think if I made an Ogden cami, I might not make, I might not make the best use of all of this fabric and I really want to make sure that I use every last scrap because it's so gorgeous. So I need your suggestions again. What shall I make with this? Shall I make a floaty summer dress maybe? Or some people on Instagram suggested perhaps a robe. I'm not really a robe wearer to be honest. I wish I was but I'm not. I like a fluffy dressing gown if I'm going to wear a dressing gown. So, and I, I kind of want this to be seen. I think trousers might be too much because I did think maybe the Sophia trousers from Tilly and the Buttons because I've made those before and they're really lovely. So, but I think, I don't know. I don't know if I'm brave enough to wear tiger trousers. So yeah, answers on a postcard, please. I think it's got to be some sort of floaty summery dress type thing. Maybe I'll do like an Ogden hack. Um, I think Kath's done that before where you sort of add a gathered skirt to the Ogden. Hmm. Suggestions on a postcard. So the last thing I've got to show you, oh, I quite think she knows now, is a couple of patterns and another piece of fabric. Shall we break it up with a pattern? Let's have a pattern. So I bought some patterns that I've been coveting for a while that practically I think the whole world and his wife have made and I haven't got round to yet. So the first one I bought was the Paper Theory Zadie Jumpsuit. And you guys will probably be able to tell me, I wasn't expecting this packet to come through the door. Is this an old graphic? Is this an old pattern? Did they re-release it? I'm sure I haven't seen this before. And when I ordered it, I wasn't expecting that when it came through but I'm assuming it's exactly the same thing as the Zadie jumpsuit would be yeah not sure but um loads of people have made this I'm sure you've seen it all before so I'll only be brief but it's got like a crossover front with a tie that goes round nice wide leg trousers you finish the neck with bias binding it's got a grown on sleeve 
it is absolutely up my street and I'm looking forward to making something summery, maybe with a double gauze, would that work? Maybe double gauze might be a bit too stretchy because that tends to get bigger and bigger as you wear it, doesn't it? Hmm. I don't want anything where the knees go baggy. Do you know what I mean? Something maybe like a linen viscose or a cotton lawn. I don't know. Again, suggestions, please. I would love to make myself. I think I, I think I'm going to go classic, plain, maybe a navy blue or something like that, uh, so that it goes with lots of things. And I can see myself wearing this with white trainers in the summertime. So I was pleased to get that. So the next pattern that I got is one that the entire sewing community has probably made already. And I basically was feeling left out and I had to buy it because it was on sale on Amazon and that's my excuse. All right, it's not my thing. I don't know why I bought it. Well, it is my thing if I mash it up. This tiered skirt is not for me, I don't think. Um, Although I've loved everyone else's versions, I don't know whether or not I'm a tiered skirt kind of a girl, do you know what I mean? But I do like this version here with the straighter skirt, the shorter skirt. And I'm thinking maybe if I mashed those two together and had the tie waist on the shorter skirt, then I might like it more. The main reason is because I want to make another shirt dress. I've made sh shirt dresses in the past. I do like shirt dresses. I like the construction of the collar and the button band and things. It's it's just fun to sew. So I thought since they were very discounted on Amazon, I would pick it up and have a go at it. Um, do you guys do things like that where you see other people making things and you think, ah, oh, absolutely have to have that pattern? And then you kind of wonder if actually it's the, the sort of style you like to wear. It's easy to fall into that trap, isn't it? But it doesn't help that people like Ruan make absolutely fantastic Lyra dresses in a uh, leopard print fabric. You can see I love a leopard print. It's one of my favourites. And her dress is really the reason why I bought the pattern because she absolutely smashed it in a Lyra leopard print dress and if you haven't seen Ruan's channel yet you really ought to because she's awesome and I'll pop it in the drop down box below. So one last piece of fabric to show you and then we're done. This is, was a gift. Uh, my lovely husband is really good at buying me fabric that I like and he um, popped on to Dragonfly Fabrics and ordered me this awesome viscose and this is soft I mean this is so soft and it's got a leaf print with sort of almost like a goldy mustard color and a dark green very unusual I've not seen a leaf print these colors before um, and he's got me a couple of meters it's nice and floaty I could make a lyre out of this that might look nice in the summer I'm not really sure what to do with it what would you do with it? It's lovely and drapey, really, really soft, like I said, and it deserves to be made into something that I'm going to wear a lot. So I don't know whether or not to make myself some sort of shirt type arrangement or maybe a floaty pair of trousers. It's just lovely. He did well picking that because, uh, yeah, I love a leaf print. And that is an unusual one I've not seen before. If they've still got any left on their website, I'll link to it below. I know Dragonfly Fabrics have got a sale on at the minute. So if there is any left, I'll link to it. But that's us. We're done. That is my haul. Um, if you enjoyed this video, please give me a thumbs up because it helps other people to see my content. And I will catch you in the next one. Bye.